All right, guys, welcome back to the unofficial guide to Wirecast and a popular tutorial many people are asking for is how to connect Wirecast and Zoom. I get it. You know, we want to bring in multiple guests using Zoom. We want to spice up our Zoom presentations with all the video production capabilities Wirecast has to offer. It makes a lot of sense, but there's a little bit to it, and I want to make sure we go over it step by step so you guys can follow this process and you know have a good time with connecting Wirecast and Zoom together. Now, we're going to come back to this because I don't want to start with all the technical stuff first, but the process I'm going to show you requires two monitors. It makes sense. You have Wirecast on one monitor for your video production, streaming, recording, and then you have Zoom on the other monitor. And in order to capture the video from Zoom, we just do a desktop capture. Very simple. That's the easy part. There's actually a virtual webcam that anything in Wirecast can be sent to Zoom. That's also the easy part. So the video side is pretty easy. The part that trips a lot of people up is the audio, and that is going to require two virtual audio cables. We're going to use the microphone and speaker outputs of Zoom. Not going to be too hard. And we are going to select a couple different virtual audio cables. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Step by step, it goes like this. Start your virtual webcam from Wirecast and bring it into Zoom. That part is super simple. You go into the output of Wirecast and you see this virtual camera out option. Make sure you have your virtual microphone option enabled as well. And you go ahead and hit start. And as soon as you do that, cut over here real quick. Uh, anything that you put into Wirecast, virtual camera, will come into Zoom. So it's pretty nice. So literally, if I add, let's add that um, that media file that we were messing with earlier, and let's cut to her. Now we've got her dancing in Wirecast. Let's, if you want to have a, a dancing person, let's add that chroma key from our last um, tutorial. Now we've got the dancing person up front here. Let's just make her a little smaller and cut to it. Now inside of Wirecast, everyone's like, how do you have a dancing person on your desk? Well, it's due to video production. It's pretty cool. So that's the easy part, right? Um, capturing Zoom, also easy, right? So we've got Zoom over here, um, and we want to do a screen capture. We can go ahead and screen capture. We actually want to capture screen. New screen capture, please. Uh, wait a second here. Sorry about that. Uh, we want to screen capture a different screen. I have to change the screens over here. Here's this is where it is. Configure. I'm pretty sure we want one. There we go. So that's the zoom screen. Now that's just showing me right now, but if you had guests you would have the ability to bring in you know, multiple guests, for example. Now, the hard part is the audio. And I'm going to walk you guys through this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but essentially, you, and I'm going to get rid of this just because I need to use the screen as I am presenting. But essentially, there's, let's go back to our step-by-step uh, -step process here is that we need some virtual audio cables. So now we'll go back to the complicated screen. We did the easy stuff, right? We did the virtual webcam into Zoom. We capture Zoom with a, with a desktop capture, easy. The audio is not that hard. Once you set it up once, it's gonna be easy, but we need either one or two virtual audio cables, depending on how you wanna set this up. Wirecast gives you one virtual microphone, which is awesome. So that's actually taken care of but you still need to use a second virtual audio cable. So Wirecast's virtual audio cable will be used as the microphone. So when you go into Zoom, 
under microphone, we're going to choose the Wirecast virtual microphone driver. And you can see audio coming in. That's good. That's a great way to test. Oh my gosh, the audio is coming in. That is awesome. Now, how do we get the audio out of Zoom and back into Wirecast? Well, that actually is used by the speaker output. And I'm using cable B, okay, virtual cable B. But how did I even get that virtual audio cable? I want to make sure this is very clear in um, this description. Well, we need to install some virtual audio cables. Well, where do we get virtual audio cables? Well, just Google virtual audio cables and VB audio software comes up and you can download them from Mac or PC. It's that easy. It's actually free. Boom, just starts downloading. Uh, so you can get that software and we're gonna use it today. So let's go ahead over to Wirecast. And now what we need to do is we need to bring that audio source in. So let's capture some audio. Let's capture the output cable B, which is what we have selected in our Zoom meeting as our speaker output. Remember, the speaker is going to be everybody who's talking in the Zoom meeting coming into Wirecast. Let's go to audio settings and let's just test speaker real quick. When we hit that test, look what happened. Audio started coming in. See that? That means it's working. That's a very easy way to test if it's working. You hit the test speaker button, it's working. So audio is coming through Wirecast virtual microphone. And we're getting audio in the far end. That means we've actually completed a kind of complicated setup. So congratulations, guys. We did it. Um, and I'm just going to finish with these steps here. Sorry, we have too many things open. Is that, you know, once we've got those virtual audio cables installed, we can use them and, and bring audio into Zoom from Wirecast. Why would we want to do that? Well, you can bring in, you can have all your great audio plugins and filters inside of Wirecast, enhance your audio, then send it back to Zoom. If you don't want to, you can just bring your microphones directly into Zoom. But if you're recording and streaming with Wirecast, you're going to want all the audio in Wirecast. That is why we want to route everything through Wirecast as an additional video production tool for your Zoom meetings. Now, obviously, we installed the audio cables. And this works with Zoom. It works with BlueJeans. It works with WebEx. It works with Teams. This is the way to do it. And then from Wirecast, you can stream and record. Now, if you're going to have an on-screen talent, right? If you're going to have somebody on a show that needs to communicate back to the Zoom meeting people, you're probably going to want to give them an in-ear monitor. And that in-ear monitor should be split off of your headphone output so you can hear what's coming from the Zoom meeting and they can hear what's coming from the Zoom meeting. And that will reduce, that will remove the possibility of there being like an echo because they have a microphone and a, a speaker that is kind of going to create a loop. So that those are my tips for connecting Wirecast and Zoom. I hope you guys find that helpful. Thanks for watching. And let me know, we're almost complete on our free, uh, or on our course of the unofficial guide to Wirecast. If you have the free download of this, you're following along. And we're going on this journey together. Let's see what our next video is.